because my mom told me not to jump on the couch, on the pillows, and I did anyways. Oh no! And I ripped a hole in the pillow and the stuffing's coming out. Oh, well I'm sure if you, if you say sorry and ask for forgiveness, she'll forgive you. You really think so? Yeah. I just, I wish the Bible had a story that talked about when we mess up and what happens. It does! Oh, we're gonna learn about that today. Really? Yes. Oh, well let's get to it then because I need to know what happens. Yes, and you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna make a snack, we're gonna hear our story, we're gonna play a game, and we're gonna worship right now. <laughs> Hey kids, today we're gonna sing a quiet worship song called Amazing Grace. So I want you to use your voices. There's no hand motions in this one. Use your voices and think about that amazing grace. Can you sing this with me? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. My chains are gone, my chains are gone. I've been set free. My God, my Savior has ransomed me. And like a flood, His mercy reigns, unending love, amazing grace. Okay, let's sing that again, now that you know the words. Sing it with me. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me I once was lost but now I'm found was blind but now I see my chains are gone my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns unending love amazing grace my chains are gone I've been set free my God my Savior has ransomed me and like a flood his mercy reigns unending love amazing grace excellent job singing and worshiping the lord everyone his grace is amazing <laughs> This week on Silly Times with Handy Friends, we see if our friend Timmy chooses to do what is right or chooses to do what is wrong. Let's tune in. Hey, Timmy, look, candy. Hey, no one is around. You should totally take one. Hmm. Hey kids. What do you think Timmy should do? Do you think he'll make the right choice? Let's find out. Um, Jake, that's called stealing. I don't want to take something that doesn't belong to me. Let's go do something else. Oh, fine. Have it your way. Hey, kids, it looks like Timmy made the right choice. Now let's look at our next situation. Okay, Timmy. I'll be in the office for just a few minutes, so remember, don't jump on the couch, okay? Okay, Mom. 
Hey kids, what do you think Tommy will do? Mom won't see him if he jumps on the couch, but he knows he's not supposed to. Let's find out what he will do. Hmm, huh. well the couch looks fun, but I have lots more toys to play with. I'm gonna obey and just play over here instead. Hey kids, I'm so glad Timmy made the right choice not to jump on the couch. Let's look at our next situation. Okay, son, please don't mess up my car. It's shiny, it's brand new, and I want to keep it that way. I'm going to go get my coffee, and I'll be right back. Hey, kids, Timmy is faced with another choice. What will he do? Ooh, that is a nice car. Well, if I just touch it, I don't think anything bad will happen. Ooh, it's so smooth. That's really nice. Oh no, oh no, I should have listened to my dad. I scratched his car. Hey son, oh no, what happened? What happened to my car? We see again that Timmy has an opportunity to choose between right and wrong. Will he tell the truth or will he try to get out of it? Let's see what happens. Oh, Dad, I'm so sorry. I didn't listen to you. I wanted to get closer to the car, and I touched it, and I left a mark. Oh, no, I scratched it. I'm so sorry, Dad. You can have all my allowance back. Well, Timmy, I'm disappointed that you didn't listen to me. You're going to have to face some consequences for what you did. <laughs> okay, Dad. Okay. But you know what? Since you told the truth, your consequences will be less. Thank you for being honest with me. You're welcome, Dad. Will you ever forgive me? Of course I will, son. Now, help me buff out this mark so we can take this thing for a drive. What do you say? Sounds great, Dad. I love you. Next time, I promise, I will listen. Hey kids, wasn't that a great lesson? We all have chances every day to choose between right and wrong. Sometimes we mess up and sin, but it's best to be honest and face the consequences. God sees everything we do and is so full of grace, just like the dad we saw. He loves us so much and we can come to him and ask for forgiveness anytime. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's game time! Let's get ready to play a game and be sure to follow along really close. Let's get started! Hey boys and girls, welcome to our game today. It's called Simon Says. You know, in our lesson today, we're talking about following God and making the right decision. So we're gonna play this game about following Simon Says and playing a game together. So let's get started. Do you know how to play? If I say Simon Says, and then I say something after that, you have to do that action. So if I say, Simon says, walk in place, you would do that, okay? And then if I say, Simon says, stop, you stop. But what if I just said, walk in place? No, you're not supposed to do that because I didn't say Simon says. So this is a game that you can play along and all uh, everyone um, is playing this game and if you get out, then you have to sit down. So everybody stand up. Okay, let's play the game together. Here we go. Simon says, walk in place. Simon says, stop. Simon says, walk in place. Okay, stop. Oh, did I get you on that one? Did you stop? Because Simon didn't say. Okay, here we go. Let's put your hands in the air. Did you do that? Because I didn't say Simon says. You're out if you put your hands in the air. Okay, let's do this. Simon says, turn around in a circle. Okay, turn around one more time. Did you turn around a second time? If you did, then you're out because Simon didn't say. Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Simon says to touch your nose. Simon says to touch your ear. Simon says to touch your mouth. Touch your nose. Did you touch your nose? Because if you did, then you're out because Simon doesn't say. 
Okay, here we go. Uh, Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, stop. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, stop. Okay, walk in place. Did anyone walk in place? Because if you did, you're out. Simon didn't say. All right, here we go. Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, put your hands down. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your ear. Simon says, shut your chin. Now cover your mouth. Did you cover your mouth? Because if you did, then you're out because Simon didn't say. Okay, Simon says, walk in a circle. Simon says, jump up and down. Okay, stop. Did you stop? If you stopped jumping, Simon didn't say, so you're out. Okay, let's jump up and down again. Did you do that again? Because if you did, you're out. Simon didn't say to jump up and down again. Okay, here we go. Um, Simon says, raise your hands in the air. Simon says, put your hands down. Simon says, raise your hands in the air. Simon says, put your hands together in front of you. Now, flap them like a bird like this. Did you flap your arms like a bird? Because if you did, then you're out. Simon didn't say to do that. Okay, a couple more, boys and girls. Here we go. Let's march in place. Oh, did you march in place? Simon didn't say. It's getting harder. Simon says, march in place. Simon says, march in place and spin around. Simon says, stop everything. Simon says, put your hands out in front of you. Now let's put our hands towards the sky like this and open them up. Oh, did you put your hands out like that? If you did, then you're out because Simon didn't say. All right, who's left in the who's left? Who's left in the room? Well, let's play one final round so everybody stand up together. And we're just going to go through all these motions. Simon says jump up and down. Simon says stop. Simon says put your hands out in front of you. Simon says put your hands down. Simon says put your hands up. Put your hands down. Oh, if you did Okay, let's do it again. Put your hands up. Wait, Simon didn't say. Simon says, put your hands up. Simon says, clap your hands. Simon says, stomp your feet. Simon says, stop. Simon says, good job, boys and girls. Thanks for playing this game with me today, following the rules. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>
to Eve and said, you should eat that fruit. And so guess what? Eve ate that fruit and disobeyed God for the first time. And so did Adam. And that was called sin, a mistake against God. And sin separates us from God. And that was the first time anyone had ever sinned, Adam and Eve, when they ate the fruit. So they were forced to leave the Garden of Eden. They couldn't live in the garden anymore. They had to, they had to pack up and get out. And what can we learn from this Bible story about sin? Well, the Bible also says that we make mistakes. Boys and girls, do you know that sometimes we disobey and we make mistakes and we mess up? The Bible says we do. And I want to say that sometimes it's with our thoughts. Sometimes we think bad things or maybe we say bad things like, hey, give me that or that's mine or, or we're being selfish and just mean with our words. Sometimes it's with our actions, what we do. Maybe we're mean to our brother or sister and push them over or take something that's not ours and then we yell and scream and we fight and we want it. <sighs> sometimes we sin and guess what? Sin is separation from God. God doesn't like sin. And so what do we do with this sin? The mistakes that we make, what happens? Jesus. God sent Jesus to earth to die on the cross for us to forgive us of our sins. All those thoughts, all those words, all those actions, all those mistakes we make, they could be forgiven through Jesus. And that's what a Christian is. It's when Jesus is living in your heart and he's forgiven you for everything you've done wrong. So boys and girls, I know that sometimes we mess up and we make mistakes, but guess what? Every time we go to, to God with our mistakes and ask for forgiveness, God says, you're forgiven. You are wiped clean. You ever used an eraser before? It's like God erases your sins for the Christian, for someone who believes in Jesus. And that's what we can learn from this story about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden when they made a big mistake. God could forgive them too. So thanks for joining me in this Bible lesson from Genesis chapter 3. Well, chapter 2 and 3 actually. And it's a great lesson that we can learn to trust God that he loves us and we want to obey God and we want to follow him because we don't want to make uh, the same mistake over and over again. We want to be forgiven of our mistakes and move on. So would you pray with me and thank God for his love for us and thank God for his word to us today. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for dying on the cross for our sins, for everything that we have done wrong. Lord, we don't want to keep making mistakes. We don't want to have bad attitudes or disobeying. Lord, we want to follow uh, good things. We want to we want to be good boys and girls, and we want to obey you and obey our parents too, Lord, because you tell us to. And so thank you for this Bible story of Adam and Eve when they messed up and made a mistake and how you could forgive them too. But we just look to you, Lord. We love you. We thank you for the Bible. We thank you for your love for us. And we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, boys and girls. Uh, thanks for learning about the Garden of Eden and Adam and Eve and how they made a mistake and uh, how we can be forgiven of our mistakes. Okay, God bless you, and we'll see you next time for another uh, Bible lesson. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Those are all really delicious. So I'm sure you like maybe one of those, I hope. And then get some of vegetables that you like. So I like celery because it's really, really crunchy and I like carrots because they're sweet. But maybe you guys like pieces of bell pepper or you like little cherry tomatoes. Those are so good. So anyway, have whatever variety of veggies you like. Colors are very nice too. And we're gonna put together our snack. Are you ready? Okay, what I need is a little cup. I like a clear cup so that I can see the layers of vegetables and dip in my cup. And I have a spoon. So I'm going to put my cup here and I'm just gonna mix my hummus around because it has some toppings in it. Ooh, it smells so yummy. Okay, then I'm gonna take a big scoop of it and put it right in the bottom of my cup. Now, I like a lot of dip, so I'm gonna put another scoop. But you put in as much as you will eat. Okay, now I'm gonna take my little baby carrots and make a little pile, and I'm gonna put them right into the dip like this. Ooh. All right, got some on my finger there. And now I'm gonna put some celery sticks in like this. You can arrange it to look really pretty because sometimes we eat with our eyes first and when something looks appetizing, we're more likely to eat it. All right, and one more. All right. Now clean up and there you have it. Your snacky time veggie cup, which if you have this, your mom's gonna be so happy and you're gonna be so happy. See this dip? See all these vegetables? Well, now they're already dipped, so you just dunk it a little and pull it out, and I have some hummus on my celery already, and it's gonna be so delicious. And you can make these ahead of time, so you can have it for a quick after-school snack. All right, are you ready for that celery crunch? Ready? One, two, three. Mmm. Mmm-hmm, so good. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Well guys, thank you so much for joining us for today's lesson, learning all about Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden and how sin entered the world. Hey Mike, what happened to your pillow? <gasps> well, guess what? I asked for forgiveness for tearing my, my mom's pillow and she forgave me and she sewed it. She <gasps> patched it up. Oh. And in our lesson today, in our Bible lesson, I learned that God can do the same things in our lives. When we make mistakes and we rip holes in different situations, God can sew them up, heal them up, and forgive us and make us new again. Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. God is amazing. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. Remember to catch us on YouTube at Harvest Kids Live, subscribe to us, and also join us on Instagram at Harvest Kids Live. We can't wait to see you next week. God bless you. Bye.